Hello, it's Michael here at The Village Optician and today I wanted to talk to you about looking for glaucoma. Okay, now that's something that we do all day, every day. Glaucoma is one of the eye diseases that is one of the common ones and, uh, you know, I'll explain a little bit about it, but we're looking for that all day, every day. We're, we're wanting to check people for glaucoma, okay? Now the reason, glaucoma, it's a tricky one. Okay, glaucoma is actually a tricky one. It's not just one thing as well. There's kind of this little group of diseases, the glaucomas, because there's sort of little subtypes of glaucoma and little variations of glaucoma. But the main sort of um, normal, shall we say, in inverted commas, glaucoma is where you've got a, a sort of high pressure in the eye. That high pressure in the eye can damage the nerves, damage the blood supply to the nerves, so the nerves will die away. And that in turn is going to damage your optic nerve, which is then going to damage your peripheral vision. Okay, what your eyes can see around you there, okay, out in the periphery. Now, the reason why glaucoma is so worrying is you can't feel that happening, okay? You cannot feel that happen at all. There are no pain receptors in those parts of the eyes. So you can have quite severe nerve damage in the back of the eye and not feel a thing. Okay, and that's what's so worrying about glaucoma. You, it takes a lot of damage before someone's going to notice there's a problem. Um, so you've got to lose a lot of the visual field, and it's that kind of thing, you know, people suddenly get surprised by people being here. Um, and that's the sort of thing that, uh, you know, that, that's how sometimes people can tell they've lost a bit of visual field. Otherwise, you're not going to notice that loss of sensitivity. You can't even feel the high pressure. You know, if it's just a normal, regular high pressure in your eye, you can't feel that either. So you don't know it's there until you have these things checked and looked at. So we're looking for glaucoma every day. It's something that we're doing all day, every day, as I've said. Now, the main things that we're going to do is that good old everyone's favorite the puff of air test all right so you're going to get that in most high street opticians the little puff of air test it's checking the pressure inside your eye it's a really good start it's a really good indicator for us to find out what is going on okay um it's weird it doesn't hurt i promise you it doesn't hurt it doesn't have to make you jump sometimes though um and to be honest opticians are the worst if you put an optician in front of one of those they're going to blink like mad okay you know so don't worry about those um, so that's the first test we're going to do. The second thing we're going to do, we're actually going to look at your optic nerve. We're going to have a good look at that optic nerve to see if there's any obvious signs of glaucoma at that optic nerve. Is the optic nerve looking healthy? Is it looking normal? Is there anything, you know, is it looking paler? Is anything changing in certain areas of the optic nerve that tell us that glaucoma could be there? Then we're going to look at that visual field. Okay, we're going to do what we call a visual field test on you. And that is checking those peripheral areas of vision. Usually in a little dark room, you've got a little clicker to press while there's little white, faint white spots or flickery patches in a machine in front of you. And you click if you see them. Okay, so that's going to work out how sensitive those parts of your eye are, okay, around you. Okay, well, part of my reason for doing the video today is I wanted to explain how things have changed. Because we've been doing those tests for 40, 50 years as opticians, maybe long, probably longer actually. Now, okay, those instruments are better than they ever have been. Okay, I'm not disputing that. They are better than they ever have been. So they are much more sensitive at picking up things like glaucoma and other problems. And I would never not do those tests. Okay, I'm going to be doing those tests all the time. But technology has moved on. We can do better now. We can do even more. And we can scan through the layers of the back of your eye, which is going to show us loads more information. Okay, it's going to give us tons of information because we can actually scan through your retina. We can look at the layers of the nerve cells in your retina now and the technology and software within these instruments can actually track if those nerve cells are thinning. And this could be a sign. This could show us glaucoma maybe a few years before you get the damage. Okay, so this is revolutionizing how we can provide eye care with these scans. It's absolutely phenomenal. So I'm going to flip this camera around, which is what I always find tricky. So I'm going to flip this camera around and I'm going to show you some scans of my eyes. Okay, just to let you know and talk you through what we're looking for. So let me try and flip this first of all. Oh yeah, first time, brilliant. So here we have what we call an OCT scan through my retina. So on the left side of it here, we have an infrared image of the central part of the back of my eye, my macula that does the detail vision, and we're just encroaching into the edge of the optic nerve here. Okay, now there's a green line through the middle. So think of this like looking at the icing on a cake. 
and the, the green line, we've now taken a slice through that cake and this is the slice. So this is the slice through. So we can see we're into my optic nerve here. We're in my macular area here that does the detail vision. And there, if you can see, we've got all of these nerve cells. These are layers of different types of nerve cell in the back of my eye which is absolutely phenomenal. So that is basically what an OCT scan looks like. Now what we're doing with this, there's two things that I always want to look at when we do these scans. Weirdly, the first one is to completely ignore the optic nerve. And I know I've been saying, you know, glaucoma, yeah, disease of the optic nerve. We're going to completely ignore that. And we're actually going to look at a specific layer of cells, which is kind of about second, third layer, second layer down here, off the top of the retina. There's a layer of cells called the ganglion nerve cells. And we know that those cells are going to be the first that are damaged in glaucoma. So if we, if I flick to a different image here, here we go, different image. So you can see here, I'm actually highlighting here, there's, it's showing us the ganglion cell layer in purple. And then here, We've got, I don't know if you can see that it's, it's in superimposed on that infrared image. So it's kind of showing me, it's like a heat map of the thickness of my ganglion cell layer. So that is absolutely amazing. So that's showing me a lovely donut, as it were, of, of the, the ganglion cells. It's showing how thick those ganglion cells are. Now, what we can do with this information, we can set this as a, a sort of baseline. And then we would scan again and scan again and scan again as time goes by. And if these ganglion cells are shrinking, that could be the first indicator that glaucoma is coming. So if these ganglion cells are shrinking, something's di they're dying away. Something's destroying them. Something's damaging them. And that, as I say, can be the first sign of glaucoma. Because we know that these will go first. Okay, that's going to go first. So let's have a look again. Here we are. Let's look at this. Now, the next thing that we're going to look at is the optic nerve. Okay, so now we've done a scan round the optic nerve. I don't know if you can see the green circle around the optic nerve. So we've taken a scan round and now we've sort of cut that and laid it out flat. So we've got, this is actually the, we're looking at the retinal nerve fiber layer here now. This is what we're interested in. Okay, so think of this as if the optic nerve is a hole and you've got some cables going into the hole kind of thing around it. We're looking at the thickness of the cables going in. So we, what, we, what this is, is showing us the thickness of those nerves going into the optic nerve. And the reason for that is we want to see now we've actually got a thickness profile down here. And it shows actually that actually that it, it thinks that this is all fine. This is all okay. It's well within the, um, the sort of the green territory there. So it's happy with that. Now, even if it's not in the green, it doesn't mean there's something wrong, okay? Um, but as I say, again, we set this as a reference point and we would actually monitor this and see if that thickness changed over time. And again, if that was changing over time, that could be glaucoma coming. If the nerves are dying away and thinning, what's causing it? Is it glaucoma? So that's why these scans are so important. I'm going to flick back around again. There we go. There we go. Here we are. So, yeah, so that's why these scans are so important. OK, now hugely important for anyone who has a family history of glaucoma okay highly recommend these above anything else for anyone with a family history of glaucoma really is so important to get these scans done now the fact that this technology exists now it, it's it's jumped so far ahead in terms of what we can do with eye care as i said before it's revolutionizing how we can prov provide eye care to people it's absolutely phenomenal um so if we can actually help save sight by finding things earlier by doing a painless scan that literally takes 10 seconds with infrared light. Amazing, amazing, you know? So this is why I wanted to do this video. So I recommend this to everyone, but in particular, if you have a family history of glaucoma, really you need to be getting this sort of stuff done. Um, I mean, the downside is of course, this sort of scanning is not covered by a basic NHSI examination. That's the downside, okay? These are going to be extra scans. They're going to be payable. But if your optometrist, if your optician offers OCT scans, I would, I would always say yes. I would be straight at the front of the queue with my hand up. I know the good that these can do, you know? Um, you know, they can help save sight.
they can help save preserve site which is what we want to do and um, that's the whole point of why most of us are opticians okay we, we, we want to help people we want to help people to see better and we want to save sight if there's a problem you know so I can't stress enough how important it is to get these sort of things done if this is available to you have it okay have it done it's going to be phenomenal in terms of the uh, the future eye care and health of your eyes okay so anyway that's what i wanted to talk about that's 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 me done okay i wanted to talk about how we look for glaucoma and how that has improved over the years uh, and as i say better than ever before so get these scans done really is worth it anyway hope this helps you make decisions and i shall see you in another video soon bye bye